so friends second lecture for units and dimensions class 11th what we had covered last time we had seen that the entire universe is supposed to be made up of three things and these three things were mass length and time now we had analyzed that physical quantities are made up of either mass or length or time or their combinations as such speed acceleration density these are what these are derived physical quantities what do we call them we call them derived physical quantities because they are made by a composition of mass length and time however distance is simply what it is simply length okay so this is not a derived physical quantity these three are known as fundamental physical quantities and all the other quantities that are made out of these combinations is known as or are known as derived physical quantities now what are the other physical quantities uh say for example uh, this thing acceleration now what is acceleration by definition acceleration is rate of change of velocity what is it rate of change of velocity so goes like this acceleration is distance by time okay again divided by time so acceleration becomes what it becomes distance over the square of time here i would like to tell you one more thing that all the physical quantities okay uh, that we see there are of two types one are constants and the other are variables constant physical quantities means those physical quantities which do not change whether india becomes pakistan pakistan becomes euro or yeah america becomes russia whatever happens constant physical quantities will never change their values okay you know about one such constant that is known as universal gravitational constant what is the value of universal gravitational constant it is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 you will mean the square per kilogram square okay so the value of this universal gravitational constant it remains same in every part of universe okay so this is what this is a constant physical quantity the others are variable physical quantities now there are lots and lots of variable physical quantities such as your age my age the time in my watch if the watch is working properly okay so if this watch is working properly the time in this watch will it be a constant or it will keep on changing every time it keeps on changing every time that means this is not constant this value does not remain the same then and now it keeps on changing then it was something else now it is something else and will be it is again something else so variable physical quantities are those which keep on changing their values why do these quantities change their values or how do these quantities change their values change happens in each and everything with respect to two things one is time okay the other is 
complex time time brings change in physical quantities time brings change in me time brings change in you 20 years back i was somebody else uh, 20 years from now i will uh, it will be somebody else so i am what i am a variable and i am changing my values according to time again i am also changing my values according to place in this classroom i have to behave like a teacher so this is my place i am somebody else if i am at some other place then i will again change my value so my value my perception changes according to time and according to place say uh, what is the value of uh, acceleration due to gravity on earth it's 9.8 meters per second square everybody knows that okay now if i change the place if i change the planet i have changed the place so if i go to jupiter what happens to this value of 9.8 it increases again i change the place i go to the moon and when i go to the moon again the value changes now the value decreases so what is acceleration due to gravity is constant or is it variable it is a variable because it is changing according to place okay there are physical quantities which change their values according to time my age your age and there are lots of other examples okay so whenever i say that there is a change with respect to place i call it the gradient what do i call it i call it gradient mark this word gradient and whenever the word gradient comes it means that divide it by distance mathematically gradient has a unique word a very simple thing whenever you see gradient divided by distance okay this gradient divided by distance that gradient divided by distance okay if something changes with time what do we call it we call it rate of change what do we call it rate of change it means dividing something by time okay mark these words place gradient gradient means divided by distance time something changes with time we call it rate of change and what is rate of change divided by time so this was uh, uh, the things about constant and variables now let us come back to uh, our uh, acceleration acceleration means rate of change of velocity let me write it in some other manner whenever i say that rate of change of velocity that means velocity divided by time and what is velocity velocity is again distance upon time divided by time so what is this distance upon the square of time now how to get the dimensions of velocity now we uh, sorry acceleration it's very easy now distance what are dimensions of distance m0 l1 t0 time m0 l0 t1 now because the time is squared what we do is we will have to square its dimensional expression also or you can write it two times time into time or you can simply do this now solving this what do you get m 0 0 l 1 0 t this will be 0 this is t to the power 1 which is square and when you take it in the numerator what does it become minus 2 so finally dimensional expression of acceleration is what m 0 l 
वन टी माइनस टू डायमेंशन ऑफ एक्सिलेशन ना कमिंग टू समथिंग एल्स डायमेंशन ऑफ फोर्स वॉट्स इट फोर्स another very important physical quantity force the first thing you must know about the force is the dimensional expression of sorry the formula to calculate force and the simplest formula to calculate force is mass into acceleration so what are dimensions of mass simple m1 l0 t0 dimensions of acceleration we just now derived what was that m0 l1 d minus 2 multiply it m1 l1 t minus 2 this is what this is the dimensional expression of force okay now one more dimensions we will see and then we will end up with this the last one is uh, the dimensions of dimensions of momentum linear momentum okay p stands for momentum the formula to calculate momentum that you should know first and that is mass into velocity okay dimensions of mass m1 l0 t0 velocity m0 l1 t minus 1 join them now that's simple m One L one T minus one. Okay. Momentum mass into velocity or speed mass m one L zero T zero speed is L one T minus one. Combine them as a for the algebraic treatment. What do you get is M one. L1 T minus 1. Okay. Now there are some physical quantities for which you are already knowing the formulas. So I want you to try out these many uh, physical quantities. Copy them. Area, then volume, then uh, comes distance or displacement okay then comes relative density you can try out for these four and again uh, one more thing abcd and e like the last one relative density let us go for uh, gravitational acceleration okay try out for these and uh, this will give you a little more insight uh, in uh, the topic of dimensional analysis thank you